So today I'm going to be doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be starting a beginner's tutorial series uh, on Windows Vista. This will teach you how to navigate through the Windows Vista operating system and use day-to-day -day applications uh, such as WordPad, Internet Explorer, or any other such um, programs. We'll be starting out very easy, uh, just learning our way around Windows Vista, and we will be getting a little more advanced until you feel comfortable that you can join the rest of my viewers in the advanced part, uh, which would probably be 99 Ways to Make Your Computer Faster series. So let's get started with navigating Windows Vista. Okay, so for basic navigation, we're going to start out with your taskbar down at the bottom of your screen. Uh, for basic navigation of your taskbar, we're going to start at the right hand bottom corner of your taskbar. You'll notice some icons. Maybe I have more than you do. Uh, these icons are all active programs that are running uh, in the background. As you can see, I have my MSN Messenger here, uh, the volume control my internet status and my screen recording program all going on here so these are all running programs you can right click them if you would like and exit them and they some of them give you some options uh, so you can check that out if you'd like and in the middle area uh, you will notice active programs if I were to open up a internet, uh, an internet browser my internet browser will pop up in this area. Alright, moving to the left, these are uh, icons that your Windows has picked up that you use often. Uh, as you can see, mine is Mozilla Firefox and Poker Stars. There's some al also maybe some in this area here where you see the two arrows um, that are just there set by default and of course at the left hand side you have your start button you can click this now Vista's start menu is a little different than uh, Windows XP start menu was uh, you will notice a search bar here uh, instead of a run command uh, this can be handy for searching for things um, without having to run a full system search so say I wanted to find uh, my internet type in internet and it brings up a whole bunch of options that have internet associated with them uh, such as my Internet Explorer is the first one and my Mozilla Firefox okay so we're back at the main uh, start menu now and on the right hand side you'll notice your name your computer name here we're going to start here and move our way down so this folder with your PC name on it is a folder in which you uh, store all of your files, all of your personal files. Here you can find your contacts list. Uh, anything on your desktop will be in here. You can see mine is empty because my desktop is empty. Uh, documents, which is the equivalent of my documents from XP. You can see all my documents in here downloads anything that you download from the internet will be here uh, your favorites if you have any uh, favorites that you like you can favorite a program in Windows Vista we'll get to that later and it will end up in this file folder any links that you prefer will end up in this file music um, this is generally where your music will end up uh, if you use LimeWire or something pictures all of your pictures obviously and saved games if you like playing the games on your computer like solitaire and you decide to save a game this is where you will find it and videos will be where all of your videos end up okay 
So on to the start menu again, documents. If you want to bypass the um, PC users folder, you can go down and just go into your documents. As we visited earlier, my pictures, my music, or my games folder. All right. So now that we have that portion done, we can move on to recent items. This is also a feature in uh, the older Windows. You can hover over this. You don't have to click on it, but you can if you'd like. You can hover over this and it will tell you what was recently opened on your computer. Uh, computer navigates you to your computer area where your local disk and any other drives that you might have will be available to you. Your network is where your uh, network will be displayed telling you every computer or router on your network. You can also right click your uh, local internet um, icon down at the right bottom hand corner of your uh, taskbar like we showed you earlier and go to the network and sharing center to view the status of your network. As you can see, this is my computer, and it's connected through my network, and my Netgear router, and which is directing me to the internet. And you can turn off file sharing here. We'll get to all this in a later video. All right. Now, control panel is the next area we're going to be talking about because we're going to be visiting this area quite often in this video series. This is where you can change just about everything in your computer. You can switch between control panel home on the left hand side or classic view like it is in uh, Microsoft Vista or XP I'm sorry uh, and you can navigate through this either way. Help and support. This is, a ta this is an area where I like to direct a lot of my beginner users for help. You can type anything into the search bar, uh, such as documents, and it will give you a list of things, uh, best results, that display the word documents, uh, such as working with the documents folder, or what happened to my documents folder. There's many options in this help and support area. You can type in just about anything and fig find something out. So this is a great area to check uh, in before you try to contact uh, any network administrator that you may have or any uh, computer technician. Alright, the last thing we're going to be looking at here is the shutdown options. You have a direct shutdown. This button saves your session and puts your computer into a low power state so it can shut down. This but this button right here locks the computer which uh, when you lock your computer you will need your password, your login password to get back into it. It just takes you back to the user login screen. And this arrow here gives you an option to either shut down, put your computer into sleep mode, uh, which is a low power uh, mode so you're not wasting power while you're away from the computer. Restart, you can lock the computer just like with this button. Log off, which will just take you to the user sign in screen, or switch a user from this button. So, this will conclude the first portion. Like I said, it was a pretty simple video. This was just navigating Windows Vista. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in a comment and I will make sure to get back to them. So I hope this video helps you navigate through Vista a little more confidently. And as always, if you like my work, please comment, rate, and subscribe. If you have any questions or concerns, you can also leave them below in a comment, and I will make sure to get back to them as soon as possible. If you'd like to request a video, please message me uh, in my YouTube inbox, or leave them below in a comment as well. 
So please make sure to subscribe right up here at the yellow button. It would be greatly appreciated. Until next time, this is Jeff with Rogue7 Tech Support bidding you farewell.